All right, folks, so if you saw my in-depth review of the Garmin Venue 3, one of my very few complaints about it is that it didn't have wrist-based running power as a feature. It included many new features like the support for cycling power meters, as well as HRV status, which brought it much closer to Garmin's more sports-focused watches like the Foreigner 265, but there was this kind of auto mission of running power, but that's changing very soon. So the Venue 3 is gonna be getting an upcoming software update, including a bunch of new features like running power, wrist-based advanced running dynamics, a redshift mode for use at night, over 20 new sport profiles, as well as a couple other nice updates that we'll talk about in today's video. And I'll actually even have details on how you can get these updates right now. So first up, let's talk about all the new sport profiles. So these are gonna be new profiles for team sports, racket sports, as well as combat sports. So there's now gonna be profiles for soccer, American football, field hockey, ice hockey, baseball, lacrosse, rugby, ultimate frisbee, and a host of other team sports. And then there's also gonna be racket sports like squash, racquetball, and badminton. And they've also included some other profiles like ice skating, archery, boxing, as well as mixed martial arts. And then on the running side of things, there's gonna be both wrist-based running power as well as advanced running dynamics. So this allows the Venue 3 to collect running power and running dynamics, such as ground contact time, vertical oscillation, as well as vertical ratio from the wrist without the need of an external accessory. So running power is just basically another way of gauging your effort or performance during a run, which can be useful in situations like if there's a lot of hill or if there's a lot of wind. Running pace is typically what a lot of us use to gauge our performance, but as you can imagine, if you're running up a hill, our pace may be slower than if you're running on flat ground with the same amount of effort. And same thing goes for wind. And that's where running power comes into play, where that measures our force or power at a given point in time, which we can then use to gauge our effort. And then with advanced running dynamics, these additional metrics can be helpful if you're interested in assessing your running form, like with vertical oscillation and stride length. These could help you figure out a more optimal vertical ratio, as in the amount of vertical movement compared to your forward movement. And then going along with the new automatic nap tracking feature that was introduced with the Venue 3, this new software update also brings a separate nap widget glance where any naps that you take will show up here but you can also use this widget to quickly manually start a nap with a nap timer if you'd like. And while we're talking about sleep, another update is the red shift mode, which turns the interface shades of red to make it easier on the eyes during nighttime hours. So shades of red are less disruptive to the eyes than a full color spectrum and can help in not affecting your sleep cycles. And what's interesting too is that if red isn't your jam, you can actually adjust the red shift mode to use shades of orange or green instead. And then lastly, they've also added a workouts app to the activities list. So this just may be a quicker way of accessing workouts that you have lined up in your schedule versus choosing a sport profile first. So all of these new updates are slated to get released to all Venue 3 owners before the end of 2023, but you can actually get access to these features right now with their public beta program. Now it is a beta program, so that means that the software isn't necessarily perfect yet, so you may run into bugs here and there, but that's kind of the point of the public beta is to help Garmin test these features on a broader scale with more people than what they can do internally. So to get this new public beta, simply log into Garmin Connect on your web browser on your computer, go to the upper right hand corner to the watch icon next to your profile icon, and then choose your device. And then when your device page loads, you should have an option right here to join the public beta program. So go ahead and click join, and then you should receive a software update within around 24 hours or so. And if you want it a little bit sooner, actually plugging in your device into your computer and syncing it with Garmin Express may be a faster option. Anyhow, those are all the new features that'll be coming to the Venue 3 with Garmin's upcoming Q4 software update. And what's interesting about this too is that it puts the Venue 3 even closer to the Foreigner 265 with the addition of running power as well as the advanced running dynamics. And if you are interested in the differences between the 265 and the Venue 3, I have an in-depth comparison of these two watches, which I'll have linked down in the description below. Anyhow, if you found the information in this video to be useful, do me a favor and just quickly hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for plenty more sports tech videos just like this that are coming soon. In the meantime, have fun out there and we will see you in the next video.